What up, everybody? Welcome to Lunatic Froggy. Today, I have Lunatic Mom with me. We are going to discuss some different types of cooking, some different types of food dishes, and whatever else comes to our mind. Today is our day because we never get an our day. And it's <laughs> Sunday. Yeah. So, Mom, you came from Poland. Yes. What are some of the fav uh, what are some of your favorite dishes that you carried on from Poland? Well, unfortunately, the first thing is I don't like food, but I still cook the food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because I okay, I tried to family's favorite dish from Poland. Well, yeah, they famous and favored that they like to eat which is pretty much that's what i kind of try to cook because that's what they're going to eat is uh cabbage rolls which is in polish it's called gołąbki but in english cabbage rolls and they are very simple to make and very easy to cook yeah they have to cook quite a while like about an hour but because of the cabbage so the cabbage yeah. has to be soft so, and unfortunately, some people in here I have actually witnessed that they actually already like pre cook the cabbage, and then they, when they roll it, then it takes less to cook because uh, just to make sure that the inside is cooked. Right. But I still do it uh, all the way, the way I learned when I was a kid, and that's what I do. So, Which is roll it with the cabbage and then cook right. it. Right. Yes. And the simple recipe is for that is just rice and ground beef. You prepare the ground beef like the seasoning, however you want it to taste. Right. And you make sure that you cook the rice. And before you mix all this together, you have to cool the rice a little bit because you're not going to put your hands in it to burn yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so hurt. then you, uh, yes, that would hurt. But unfortunately, sometimes my kids like, how do you touch that? Because I don't have like much feelings in my hands and I'm always cold. So I don't mind if it's a little bit hot. <laughs> so I mix all that together and then you just wrap it in a cabbage and roll it. And then you put it in a, either you can cook it in an oven or you can cook it on the top of the stove. What about like in a crock pot? You can cook it on a crock pot, but in a crock pot is a little bit kind of tricky to cook because you have to still put a little bit of water either way. Either you cook it in an oven, you have to put a cup of water in a pan. Either you cook it on a stove, you still put a, you know, a cup of water in it because the cabbage usually holds the water. So then it creates more water while it's cooking. Right. But before it starts burning, you have to put a little bit of water before you start cooking. So the same way with the crock pot. But I don't like to do it in a crock pot because, unfortunately, like for any family that it's a little family, you can do it in crock pot because crock pot is very little, so it doesn't fit. I usually make between 40. <laughs> so that I have you to make a that. big dish. Big so I have to cook a lot so that's why I and yes you can cook it in a crock pot like the way you would cook for eight hours you know but I who's gonna wait unless you go into work you put your crock pot on and you come back you got your dinner but my family waits it right there and then so 45 <laughs> minutes it is <laughs> right <coughs> and then another one they love is uh, breaded pork chops Ooh, I love breaded pork chops. Yeah, so that one, I actually, I do like that too. And you can also make it with chicken, like breast, you know, chicken yeah. breast. You can slice them up like that. So you can also make it the same way, you know. So they like that. And usually I make with that is like they love potatoes. They don't like potatoes out of the box. So I always have Homemade to cook potatoes. real potatoes. <laughs> they call it a real potatoes because they're out of the box. They are not real. <laughs> so they do that. And then I also make a cucumber salad, which is they love that. You slice the cucumbers and then you put a little bit of sour cream and you put a little bit of salt, pepper, whatever you like, and you mix it. And that's how you eat it with. Or you can eat red cabbage, beets. Or whatever you like. Whatever you want with it. <laughs> My mom used to make us um, 
cream of cucumber. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what I, it is. I remember sitting there and she'd make uh -huh. those bowls of cr cream of yes. cucumber and I just <sighs> Yes, that's that's what it is. And my kids love it because that is actually like a culture of a southern Poland and which is also from Germany, so that's like mixed with Germany. Yeah. So yeah, that's what they they love to eat that. And then another one is like homemade with the well, in English, you would call it homemade hamburgers because you make like a homemade patties, you know, yeah. and then you cook them the same way. Like you don't make them like a hamburger, but it's like more of a like a patty, you know, ground beef. And you make, you know, you season it however you want to. And again, with the potatoes or rice and whatever other vegetables you like. So that's pretty much always because they love that kind of food. And that's the only thing that they will eat. So you basically cook the same meal over and over and over. Well, I do make other things like, you know, they like tacos, they like spaghetti, they like other things. Who doesn't but, like tacos? <laughs> right, but that's what I'm saying. Like, so that's just, uh, but as a traditional. And yeah. then um, traditional meal, which is, I do stick with it, is for Easter and Christmas. That I always make sure that I do have my traditional dinner. Well, that's awesome that you keep that tradition going. Right. And hopefully your kids will keep that tradition going. Well, I'm hoping because they always, they actually kind of look forward to it, like, you know, so they know. And some of them, they do cook because the other day my son came in here and he actually, he's like, I finally figured it out, your recipe. I finally made it. <laughs> I'm like, because I don't go by recipe and that's what they laugh at me because i always try to tell them i said i don't know how to tell you how much to give what i just put everything in a bowl and add a little bit of things and this and that and that's what comes out so i cannot My mom's tell you the exact same way and whenever I, like she'll be like she'll give me a rough estimate like a yes and yeah. then she's like I'll make it and it don't turn out like hers. And she's like, did you add more of this or less of this? And it's like. Right. Because. Can I uh, just get exact <laughs> fucking measurements? No, there is no measurements. <laughs> I don't care if you got to take a teaspoon. Right. Put what See, you want in, in dishes. Take a fucking teaspoon and measure each one out and mm -hmm. tell me what you want what it is yeah Cause usually cause I, I try to yeah i try to tell them i try to show them like when i do make things and i pour it in a bowl and i said look so they laugh at me that i cook with my eyes not measurements <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it is. I'm cooking with my eyes because I try to remember how it was and everything else, especially lately since I had the COVID for the past two, three years now, maybe three years. I can smell nothing or taste nothing. So and that has got to really hinder your food. Oh, well, that's why I don't eat. I don't try, but I do cook and well, yeah, that's I don't just... try it because I can't, I can taste it. So why would I try? Right. Here, <laughs> so Mom, then, taste this. yeah, it's got to really help with the flaming hot food stuff. You can't taste yeah. it. Yeah. Right. No, but I, like I said, I try to cook it and I try to put everything how I remember you know and everything else and then I tell them all the time okay I made this dinner so whoever needs any seasoning anything you need to add it after to your right. food because I'm not going to do it not knowing how much or what so sometimes I ask them like when I'm cooking something I'm like hey can you try this do I need to add on any salt or any other seasoning to it yeah the other day, actually, I was making dinner and, dinner and oh, we were laughing because my older son, David, and I called Kyle. I said, because he was making himself something else. David was making something else for himself. And I said, can you try this? He's like, no, I already tried this. And then I'm going to have the mixed taste. So I'm, I don't know if I'm going to tell you the right thing. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm like, Kyle, can you please try this? Uh, do I need to add on anything else? <laughs> and he tried it and he's like, oh, it tastes like chicken. I'm like. Because it is a chick. <laughs> I'm asking you to taste it. Do I need to add on any seasoning or if it's too much? He's like, no, it tastes like chicken. I'm like, never mind. 
You are no help. <laughs> <laughs> that's like asking a brick wall. If it's, yeah. Do I need to add anything? Yeah, so that's why it's kind of hard for me to cook since I can't taste nothing. So it is really hard, but... I guess I got away with it that every time I make something, then everybody, oh, that tasted good. That was really good. I'm like, good. Then we don't throw the food away. <laughs> <laughs> you learned how to manage cooking with right. long-lasting effects of COVID. Mm -hmm. Have they said any when your senses were coming back? They said that because my doctor always asked me, like, Do, did you get your smell back? Did you get your taste back? Like when I do, I do smell sometimes, but it's completely opposite what I can, what it's, what it is. Yeah. Sometimes I smell burning things like, you know, like I would smell it like it's like a burning food. And yeah. I'm like, what's, what's burning? And they're like, nothing's even cooking. I'm like, then why do I smell that? Like, you know, like it's like my, my smell in my nose. It's kind of trying to break it through. Yeah. So my doctor said that if I would get like something strong, like peppermint or something very strong and then just smell it and smell it. So then it kind of breaks the, you know, cycle yeah. or whatever. Well, I tried it and it doesn't work. What, so. um, I've heard that some people uh, did spicy foods. I'm talking like spicy foods. I don't taste it. I don't I don't smell it either. So that's why, because Kyle likes very spicy food. So he always like, mom, can I get the hot spicy this or hot this? And he, they got all this because when they make tacos, I make tacos and I put all the seasoning in and they still add on the the hot sauce or whatever yeah. the crap that they do add on. I don't taste nothing because they like, so how does it taste, mom? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just hungry. So I'm eating it. <laughs> So you'd be the perfect one for the one chip challenge until you swallowed the food. Probably because I do notice that when I do like sometimes like even like from outside or something, when it's something very, very strong, it's not necessary that I can smell it through my nose, but it starts burning my throat. Yeah. So, so it, it's like literally just going your from yeah taste buds and your nostrils. Yeah. Uh huh. And then when it goes down to my lungs, and then that's when I'm like, why am I? Why is my throat like really burning? Like you know, something's burning. Something's happening here. So I'm, then they're like, nothing's happening. I'm like, well, something's happening because my throat is burning. So I that's when I know that it's something going on, and it's like it's a strong. Spicy. Yeah, something strong, or like spicy or like heavy yeah. thing. Yeah. So it's kind of hard for me, but I learned already that I can, I have to live with it. So That's it's just so like, a, yeah, sometimes I really would like to taste because see, like, like the memory that you remember what the food tastes like, then, then you eat it and it's like, no, I'm just eating nothing because I, it doesn't, you know, yeah. I, my mom, when she had COVID and lost her t taste of smell, she said eating was really hard. Um, she took a lot of vitamin C and it came back. Well, I have been doing that because like, you know, like the cough drops, the vitamin yeah. C. Yeah, I do do that because like I usually try to get the cough drops. But again, they because I don't have a thyroid, so it's like really affecting my throat like you know so i do the vitamin c so it's a little bit better but still i don't even taste it that is a vitamin c <laughs> so it's like i know how it tasted before i'm like hmm why is it not you know like you know sour thing like you know yeah. like you're eating like some like you're eating a basically lemon or something but i don't taste that so um, I'm just like holding it in my mouth. And so if it. anybody in the comments knows how to get mom's taste back, please. That would be great. That would be something because like they said, even like, you know, like the dryer sheets, like yep. to when, when I sleep, they said to put it under the pillow. So that would like a nice, fresh, you know, thing. It still doesn't work. Uh, I'm like, okay, whatever. 
Poor mom so got the, shorted that was, they yeah, got COVID. That's what that's uh, the only at thing. Least you're, you made it through COVID and which is that's what I'm glad healthy. because believe it or not, I actually got it twice. The first time it was in 2019 in December. I got really, really, really sick that I couldn't breathe and I didn't know what was going on and I went to immediate care. And because I have an asthma and I don't have a thyroid and I also had blood clots, so my lungs are very damaged. So when I went there, they like, okay, well, if you can breathe, you have to go immediately to emergency room. I'm like, no, I'll, I'll be fine. Just give me something. Well, we can give you nothing because you have COVID. I'm like, what? So that's when it started. And that's when everything like the 2020, the beginning of yeah. the 2020, everything was so bad. And my daughter, she worked in a hospital at that time. She's like, mom, no matter what you do, whatever you do, you, you sleep with the pot of water, like, you know, steaming in your face. But I don't want you going to the hospital because you're not going to give out, get out of there. So she was really, really affected by it because yeah. a lot of people were dying because of their breathing and everything else and she was scared but i made it and i'm glad i'm here the one time i tested positive for covid i didn't even know i had covid right that was the second time when i got sick and i was like i didn't even have a temperature or nothing and the only thing that it was like i couldn't breathe like my sinuses were like really stuffed up and it was hard for me to breathe so i was like okay maybe they can give me something so I went and they like, well, we can give you nothing. You just have to fight it through because you have COVID. I'm like, really? <laughs> so what so, time did you lose your taste? The first time. Uh, the first time when, when it was because the first time I really was like really coughing very bad and I couldn't breathe. And then my sinuses, everything was really like it was all in my head. And that's when like. And it, and it wasn't like a week, like sometimes, you know, you are sick for seven, 10 days and then it right. finally gets better. I was sick for over a month. Yeah. Um, they say it lasts two weeks, but no, some people get really sick, really bad. I was, yeah, I was sick the whole month because I actually got sick like right after Thanksgiving, like right after that. And the whole December to New Year's, I was sick. I couldn't even sit like for New Year's Eve, like everybody, oh, happy New Year, mom, happy New Year. I'm like, I can't even breathe. I, I barely made it. That would drive, uh, that would have scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, they were all freaking out. But I told them, I said, if you are going to be freaking out, I'm going to freak out too. And then I'm going to end up in the hospital. That way, just be quiet. Let me be. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to deal with this. Okay? I know how to do it. As long as I wake up, as long as I breathe, I'm fine. <laughs> right. So. But it kind of sucks that you lost all your taste because that's the joy in food. Right. Which is, well, see, I before even that, I didn't like much food because, like, of my digestive system yeah. that I have it. But at least I had certain foods that I really liked that I was looking forward to that at least I can have that. But now... It's just like, I just eat because I'm hungry. So. So, before COVID, when you had your taste, what was your favorite food you ate? Well, like I said, I do love rice. But yes, the breaded pork chops that I would tolerate or breaded chicken, like, you know, like cutlet to make from breast, chicken yeah. breast. Or I also like fish because nobody else at home likes fish i do so you i make myself fish so well into this household i'll go eat your i'll go eat at your household and you can come eat at my household because all they <laughs> eat is fish pork and uh chicken <laughs> yeah no they eat all kind of stuff and i do cook different things but like i said i i don't like a lot of food because of the digestive system so i have to pick and choose but my favorite i always liked fish that was my favorite even when i was a kid i grew up then i didn't like like the traditional very hard like the sausages and all kind yeah. of lunch meats and all kind of stuff that's what we grew up on I didn't like that when I was a kid. Everybody in my family was like, where did you come from? Like, you don't like this stuff like that? I'm like, nope. 
no, I like, you know, fish. <laughs> yeah, food. like I just like this and that, but I still cook for the family. And I always like, even if we have people over, I make all kind of food and I cook everything for them. So what? I like to pasta salads. I like also yeah, that. So pasta salads. Yeah, I love that one because it's soft. <laughs> what is your favorite holiday meal of America that you like? Well, an American food, <clears throat> see, that's the tricky thing because I don't like hamburgers, which is bought from the store, like a hamburger, right. I mean, like the press food. If I make my own, I'll eat it. So if you went out and bought a hamburger from like a butcher shop. Uh, it's still, it would have to be the fresh hamburger yeah. meat. Yeah, like that. I would the eat that. hamburger meat. Yes, yes, I would eat that. But what it's all packed in the box, no, that is, I always say that people eat the bottom of the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> because it looks like that. it. It that, looks and like it's it. really rubbery. Yeah, yes, totally and it rubbery. and it looks like that. So I'm like, how do you people eat this? <laughs> and I don't like hot dogs. That don't is blame you. disgusting. <laughs> I eat them when I have to. Poor me. No, I would rather eat actually and buy actual like a sausage because it is a better quality meat in it than a hot dog. Yes. So I would rather eat that. But also, I don't eat, like, if I would eat a sausage, I usually don't eat, like, any, like, on a grill or cooked or anything. I slice it, and I actually cook it on a pan, like, you know, like, on a butter and everything yeah. else. That's how I cook it, because it has to be cooked pretty much everything for me. So do you use fresh ground sausage? No, smoked uh, the kibaskas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, because I, f I feel like, because see, when I grow up again, I like everything comes to me from a childhood that I was scarred. <laughs> because I love animals. And we had our own farm, not a big farm, but, you know, enough for our family to have. We had land and we have our own. We raised a pig, we raised cows, we raised chickens and all that. So then when we would raise the pig, then before Christmas, the pig would get slaughtered and make for all the meat for the whole winter. Well, when you go and feed the poor little thing and then it's killed and you cry. True. <laughs> because I always cried every time. So they always sent me away when they were doing that because I was like really freaking out. I felt so bad. And I didn't want it to because we always had the fresh milk and fresh eggs, everything. So the same way even with chicken. You you have so many chickens because, you know, they hatch. We had our own stuff. So then when you need a dinner, you go to the backyard, you grab the chicken, you kill it, and you cook it. And I would cry. <laughs> I would have cried too. Because they were my animals. I didn't want it to. So that's why even in here, everybody laughs at me because like when we do have Thanksgiving, then I really hate to touch turkey because again, that reminds me of the chicken that it was killed. And I like, oh my gosh, I'm not touching the poor thing. Oh my God. And I feel like crying. <laughs> And I really had to overcome that kind of a feeling also to a ground beef that I ever, like when I was younger and when I had to make dinner, when I got married and everything else, I didn't want to even touch the ground beef because I knew what it comes from. And I was like, why am I doing this? So it was really hard for me to actually come to this point that I just make food, but don't think about anything else. True. So, Which it's, makes things really hard when it is also the main person that cooks that makes and, food yes yes yeah. it's really hard but like i said i do like like you know like a summer food i don't like i said i don't like the meat wise food but i can make my fish on the grill and i can bake potato i love baked potatoes in the summertime and I like like a pasta salad and all the, you know, regular salad. So I do eat that. So. 
I try to eat, but I'm just one for... I'm not really... I mean, if you look at me, I'm kind of on the fluffier side. I know I'm on the fluffier side. But at the same point in time, it's like, okay, I'm not hungry. Right, which is, you know, that's when I feel like that because that's why I gain so much weight. And because, number one, I don't have a thyroid, so right. it doesn't to process anything in my body and number two because i don't i'm not able to digest my food so i don't eat regularly the way you should eat which is that's when it's not good because if you would even make yourself to say okay every day something different i'm gonna eat this for breakfast i'm gonna eat this for lunch and i'm gonna eat this for dinner three meals a day on every time at the same time on regular basis all the time the same thing you will notice that you will lose weight and you will hold it because of the balance of your food how you do it that's but what my you, doctor said too and i told him he's a lying ass and he really shouldn't give up bad advice that he doesn't know nothing about no that's why i actually the only thing that i have a issue because like i said i cannot digest my food and i try to tell the doctors because they like oh well you obese you obese oh, well shove it up your ass because i'm asking you as a professional what would i be able to eat something solid that it's going to digest at least a little bit because if i eat solid food like any meats like i said like even pork chop like even chicken or turkey or any other because they said oh you have to eat uh, you know like stuff protein okay but that's a hard food for me so it diet doesn't digest within three days so for three days i don't eat and that's right. all sitting in my stomach <laughs> so and all i'm care a, about is whether it's yeah <coughs> you're overweight they don't want to care about right how to help you and that's what i've been asking i said can you help me to figure out like the menu what would i be able to eat that would digest properly at least one day so i would at least eat every day something but not every other or third day right. so and they like oh well you have to do this you have to do that okay good for you because your food digests properly mine don't so never mind i don't need to ask your shit <laughs> Like me, you just like never fucking mind. Uh, nope, never mind, because I'll figure out on my own. So, um, did dad give you the list of things that's supposed to help you with getting to being able to eat? Uh, no, actually, no, he never mentioned anything. I gave him a whole entire fucking list. Oh, no, he doesn't remember shit. It's in his Twitter. <laughs> Probably, so he but doesn't. I'll, send it, I'll just copy it and send it to your uh, Facebook. Yeah, and on a messenger. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, because uh, like I said, sometimes he's like, if it's not to his liking, so he just swipes it and forget it. <laughs> Silly dad. Turks yeah, uh -huh. that's why I have nine kids, not eight. <laughs> So true, you do. Yeah, I do. Well, don't let him hear that. <laughs> oh my God. Is there anything else you would like the lovely people to know? Well, in case if they would like to know, so like to know something about it, if they have a question, if they would comment it in your, you know, link or whatever, then you can let me know. Then maybe next time we can discuss that. Very true. So make sure you comment down. We're going to head out so that way you can get on with your day. Because I know okay. you have a busy day running a household. <laughs> Always something. <laughs> Always something. And it's almost uh, 146 and I'm pretty sure dad wants his cigarettes. And dad wants oh, yeah. his lunch. And oh, Kyle's yeah. hungry. Or Matt's oh, yeah. hungry. No, they already sitting in the kitchen. I can hear them all talking. And I'm like... <laughs> But they know not to bother me when I'm talking on this. Because <laughs> sometimes they text me, what's for lunch? What's for dinner? I don't know. I don't eat food. What are you people asking me for? 
<laughs> Ryan. So yeah. we're gonna end this. If you want well, us to do this again, let it, just comment make a down comment. Below. We'll discuss the comments later. We love y'all. Well, Mama, thank do you. you have any famous words? Well, thank you for having me, and it's really fun to talk about things. But like I said, if anybody wants to know something, just make a comment, and we can talk about it. All right. We love y'all. We thank you for coming. Have a watching. wonderful day. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.